What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the AFC Newark Career Mode here on FIFA 22. Today we have the good, the bad and the ugly and I'm not sure how to tell you guys this um, but a few things have happened since you were last here. We've played quite a few games and we've also had quite a big injury. Owen Morris is the bad, he's the injured right now. He uh, put his knee out and will miss the remainder of the season seven months with a cruciate injury um so he's going to miss the start of next season as well and at the ripe old age of 34 i'm really struggling to see a way that he can come back and really have a major impact on us in league one we've signed Sado Berahino for next season to play up front nicholas hyde has played brilliantly in his space and billy james up front has scored goals for us as well so we've got players who are capable of doing the job up there owen morris you know, he's, he's going to have to be eased back in, I think, and another injury for Paul Rowan. That's his second this season, and this one ends it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, as well, I uh, I was kind of just playing along, uh, you know, as you do, trying to get as much time passed before this episode. And, um, well... Just take a look at our form here. We, <laughs> we Since the last episode where we played Newport in the middle of the month here, we drew 2-2 against Rochdale in the next game. We then skimmed past Sutton away from home with a 3-2 win. And then since then, we have won every single game we have played. And I didn't realise it. But actually, with 21 points left to pick up this season and 22 points the gap, to Stevenage, it means we've won the league, ladies and gentlemen, without even knowing, because I'm sure last episode, only five, six games ago, the gap was just 10 points, and now it's 20. The Stevenage, Oldham, Northampton, Warsaw, they must have been slipping up. We've been winning, and unknowingly to us, we've gone and totaled the right amount of points. I was trying to get to the Mansfield Town game, the Derby game, and um, I come up against this Forest Green team. I looked at the table, and I was like, hold on a second. We're already, we're already looking like this might be it. 84 points, 62 is the closest. I checked it out, and we have actually won the league. Promotion to League One confirmed. So today, we're going to sim this game against Forest Green. We're then going to play our game against Mansfield, and I want to get your guys' opinions down in the comments exactly what you want to see for the next episode. Do you want to see another game this season? Then maybe the last two games of the season, just to sort of wrap things up, and then we'll do a season wrap-up as well. Um... Or should we jump straight into next season? Up to you guys. I think maybe we'll do like the last couple of games because I don't think there's any more for us to play for after this. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll play the last couple of games. We'll quick sim this game here against Forest Green right now and see if we can get the result we would like and pick up as many points as possible. We won't. We will actually get beaten here. Who is 1 0 down thanks to Adams after five minutes? Billy James equalizes six minutes to go, but four minutes to go. White House pulls Forest Green back ahead and they get the three points in this one. Mansfield currently 21st and will be looking at relegation if they could get relegated out of the Football League. Not a good season for our bitter rivals. Hopefully, we can endure some more pain on them at home against them today. Two lineups for the sides looking like this then. They play a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow. Perch, of course, the main man at centre-back captain, um, one of their most recognisable players. And we line up with our 4 4 twos. You can't see starts in goal. 66 rated now, had a very good season, had some very good moments for us. Logan Hicks up to 70 rated. Reggie Stevens, I didn't even think about this, he's, seven, he's almost 80 rated. He is absolutely an amazing centre-back. Expect to lose him next season to a Premier League club, because if he doesn't leave, that will be a massive shot. Goodwin and Cesar Young out the back. Tafrik Aldeeb will come in on the right-hand side. Oakley Boob and Adeniran in the middle. Mitchell Lawson moves over to the left-hand side. Nicholas Hyde starts up front with Louis Atkins. Derby days are usually a special day. Today, though, doesn't mean much for us as far as league position goes. Just pride over the lowly Mansfield town. Really should be a foregone conclusion, this result. We're not playing our strongest side. There are a couple of rotated players in. Mansfield Town will get us kicked off at the Flow Serve Arena underway against our rivals. Mitchell Lawson. Back onto the feet of Nicholas Hyde. Deflection though. Takes it into a good area for 
tried to attack. Cooper gets a block on the uh, Lee Cross. We'll have a corner 10 minutes in here. Uh, Veeb who will take it. Out swinger. Headed away. With Oakley Boog on the edge. Nicholas Hyde. And Deeb. Low ball. Easily cut out. Should really be doing better there. The youngster. Oakley Boog has won it back for us though. And Oakley Boog style. Now Mitchell Lawson. Still Lawson. Saved by the goalkeeper. In the box. Can we pick it up? We can. It's Nicholas Hyde who will get it. Now Steven Sessegnon. Really in the box to aim for. There will be now though, and it's Aldib. It's saved. Aldib again will put it into the back of the net of the sector. Maskin. We lead against Mansfield Town. Not the greatest goal you'll ever see, but youngster out the youth academy scores his first goal for the club. Tarfwick Aldib will remember that one. Sessing on low ball in. Right foot attempt saved. Comes on to his left, and an open goal won't miss from a yard out. Oops. Full ball to Gordon. The room for Gordon here. Can he pick a cross out? He doesn't have to. He hits it. Luckily for us, it hits the post. And the Atkins can find Nicholas Hyde, who opens his body out beautifully there. We'll take Cooper on here. And beats him. Referee, surely that's a free kick. Nothing given. Lawson has it. Hyde. Atkins saved by Steck. Here's Quinn. A couple of minutes to the break here. Going forward. Cut out by Sessing Young. We'll keep the ball though. Oates, decent. He's going to find Clark. McLaughlin across the ball. And again, obviously, they're working in Mansfield, looking for an opening. Maybe they're working it too much. Now out wide, Quinn Johnson. Oates scored. They're not working it too much. They're working it perfectly. And they are level before the break. It's the big bag of Oates with the goal. Oates hits one from range. Jakonski. Almost had one before and one after the break there, Lewis Oates. Jukonski does deny him though, from range. Half ball in, Lawson heads it away. Closing down from Nicholas Hyde. Absolutely, oh, he's going to get it back as well. Maris, Quinn, back to Maris again. There might be a chance for Lapsley, there is. And Mansfield leads. 2-1 to the Stags away from home. Clark. McLaughlin. Oates through ball. It's looking good. Sesse Young's there. It went very lucky there. And now Logan Hicks has it. If we can move this ball. Cross pitch will find Al Deeb. And we have three men, surely. One of them will find it. It's Tashan Oakley Boob. It's an easy goal. Breaking away. Oakley Booth levels this game back up just before the hour mark. Oakley Booth. Oh, deep. All up for Louis Atkins, who's been quiet today, Louis. It's a good ball across, though. Nicholas Hyde's header, and it's a good save by Steck, you know. And the stretch had to get there. Lapsley into Johnson. Hawkins. Logan Hicks with a very good challenge. And Beeb turns well. And gets the ball away for us. Just relieves a little bit of pressure here. Louis Atkins. Oakley Boob. Louis Atkins into Nicholas Hyde. Can we win it late on? I think on the running of the game, we deserve to win it late on. That's Oakley Boob. Adeniran. Louis Atkins. Mitchell Lawson. Sessing Young. Surely across the box it will come. Is Louis Atkins going to get there? He won't. Edge of the box. Will it fall to a purple shirt? It won't. And we will draw this game against Mansfield. Couldn't quite beat. The local rivals today couldn't inflict any more pain on their relegation campaign. But we are League Two champions. Nothing they could have done to stop that happening today. The boys will celebrate. I don't think we'll pick the trophy up until maybe the final home game of the season. So let me know in the comments exactly when you want me to come back. Do you want to see more games this season or do you think we should just see it down to the last game? of the season are we really going to lift the trophy here because we're celebrating like we are we're doing a, a circle we are we are going to lift the trophy here boys it's on sam goodwin will receive the trophy this is the first home game since we've won the trophy and they're handing it straight to us we'll stay with it then
As you guys can see us lift the lead true trophy. Our first ever bit of silverware as manager. Our first ever silver bit as a club as well. Sam Goodwin is the man who will lift it. A long slog of a season. We are heading to League One next year. Did not think this was going to be as easy as it was in the end. We romped away to the league title. Expect a lot of players to be poached in the summer. We've already got a few good players coming in. Okay, so games we have left this season. Leighton Orient away, Stephen Edge at home, Bradford away, Hartlepool at home, and the final game of the season is at Bristol Rovers away. So there are the fixtures remaining. Let me know when you want us to return. Do you want to see the last game of the season, the last two games of the season? Are you not bothered about seeing any more games this season? You just would like next episode to be a season roundup, maybe? Either way, let me know in the comments. That would be great. Thank you very much for watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.